Hello all, I'm back again. Um, this is the six channel uh, decoration I had in my show this year and it is uh, what I uh, affectionately termed the power wreath. <laughs> At any rate, there's six channels of lights in here. And what I did with these is I actually took 50, cha uh, 50 count light sets uh, that I got at Walmart and I cut them in half. The 50 count light sets actually are two 25s in the set. And um, all in all with six channels it's 150 lights. I figured the uh, having each channel on 25 lights was good enough on this wreath because it is fairly small. Uh, it is 30 inches in diameter so it's not too small. Roughly medium size but that's it. Alright, now this is the other side, and what I did is I carefully marked it top here, because that's where it's going to hang from, and that's also my first channel, so you can actually see the plugs um, going around on the top here for the the, the channels the, 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 uh, the, from the parts that I, uh, the uh, strings that I cut in half, and the others are down here. Now all of them terminate at this terminal block here, and that's how I wired them in accordingly. All the neutrals go on the first, the, uh, the first and the uh, the fifth um, position on this uh, terminal strip. So this is a neutral, and this is a neutral. Likewise, I followed the same color coding as I did on the uh, the Ren 24 SS controller. So, in other words, this white wire and this black wire are the first channel, the red wire is the second, the green wire is the, uh, the third, and so far on so forth down the road. So this would be channel five, six, seven, uh, actually this would be six, seven, and eight. This is a, uh, uh, wait a minute, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. Where am I getting eight from? <laughs> Okay, so this is, uh, again, this will be the first channel with the neutral, and the other neutrals are shared. So this is channel 1, this one here is channel 2, this is channel 3, these two here are channel 4, again, that's a black with a neutral, this is channel 5, and this last one here is channel 6. And I went around the wreath, so basically what happens is this is channel 1, 2, 3, 4, um, wait a minute, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think six maybe end up around here. And that's basically it for the wreath. Just give you a little bit of a close up on that terminal bar there. And everything I tied in wire ties around here. So basically what I did is I did the zigzag pattern, which was actually recommended to me by one of the guys in the forum. And you can even see it here, like in some areas I didn't fully tie it down, so this way I could adjust it still. But it actually turned out fine, so I might permanently set it like that. But I went zigzag back and forth like this, so this way most of the lights would be on top. And, you know, very little would be on the other side. And um, going that way also maximized the uh, amount of lights that uh, I needed on top, uh, which is uh, probably also another factor in determining why that I didn't have to um, use a whole 50, 50 strand light. If the wreath was being viewed by both viewed by both sides, then it probably would have been more better just to go wrap it completely around. So that's it. That's the uh, power wreath. 